Hey everybody, welcome back into Vikings Connected. My name is Erin Newberg. This is Chris Hockey, and it is time for the VIQ test. Yeah. Chris? Yes. Who's the next contestant? Well, we know he's got great hair. We know he okay. can block and catch footballs, and we know because of Vikings karaoke he can sing. But can he do the VIQ test? David Morgan, let's find out. Hello and welcome to the hottest television show on any network, The ViQ Test on the Vikings Entertainment Network. Uh, this has been the A number one most requested episode. People have been writing in, when yes. are we getting David Morgan on the show? You're finally here. It's Glad to be here. You. Glad Great to be back. You. Yes, sir. Uh, is there a reason you're wearing full pads? Was there danger that I didn't know about? That? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going to, I thought this was where me and you lined up and I, that's why I brought my helmet for you. Is that so, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Well, I'm standing on a step right now and I'm still not as tall as you are. So give me a head start of about two days, if you would. The Viking to, by the way, how'd you do on the Wonderlake test? I think I did pretty well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to answer, like, not answer all the questions because they didn't want me to think I was too smart. Yeah, that happens, doesn't <laughs> it? Yeah. yeah. Do you know today? No, I think I did all right. I'm not honestly not sure. Show off today. All right, show if off. If you want to get them oh, all yeah, right, I'm you go show right off. ahead. Yep, but if you I'm don't, we'll know it's because you didn't want to make people think. Exactly. Yep. You were called the songbird of your generation by me on which famous show? The Power Trip, Vikings Huddle, or Vikings Karaoke? That would definitely be Vikings karaoke. And I'll stand by that, by the way. Yes, sir. You are the songbird of your generation. I appreciate that. you are that. correct, one for one. I'm sorry I'm bad. I'm sorry I'm bad. I'm sorry about all the things I said to you. And I know I can't take it back. The University of Texas, San Antonio, began playing football in what year did they play in 1992, in 2001, or in 2011? And again, I think this was pretty much a slam dunk because I think this was your year, wasn't it? Was, that was my first year of football there, yeah. so that would definitely be 2011, C. 2011. 2011. I've talked to you about this before, and by the way, that's exactly right. But I don't think I've ever asked you this question. It's mm -hmm. kind of out of left field. When you got there to start a brand new football yep. program, did they forget anything? Like, did you guys like walk in one day and there were no cleats? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, it was starting from scratch. Yeah, it was a transition. So we had actually had a team, a team. We had a first round of like scholarship players yeah. the year before me, and so they all redshirted that year. So that was their technical redshirt year wow. in 2010. Yeah, and so I mean, we got a lot of hand-me-down stuff from UT and UTEP, and you know, everyone kind of around the state was kind of helping us out. And so we had a bunch of hand-me-down stuff, wow. and just random stuff. But it was cool, man. It was a it was a blessing to see a, a program just change and evolve like that. I and mean, we had a guy this year go 14th overall. Really? To the Saints, yeah. I mean, incredible. You know, Marcus Davenport. And it's just crazy to see, like, I mean, being like, a program like that and seeing a guy on that, on that platform was incredible. It's, and maybe they did, but it's almost sad nobody filmed it as a documentary. Yeah. To see it from scratch. There, there will know? be a book or something yeah, sooner yeah. or later. It's going to be out there. Right. I may the have book, to, I that may might have be to you. write it. You may be the, uh, the, <laughs> the writer of your generation, not just the songbird. What was the title of Kanye West's debut album? Stay with me now. Was it Graduation, The College Dropout, or 808s and Heartbreak? Kanye West, debut album. Oh, man. Um, I mean, I know Graduation and College Dropout both. 808s and Heartbreaks, I don't even, I mean, I'm guessing that's him. I don't think y'all would throw me a bone like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with The College Dropout. Purely based on the fact that you would have to drop out of college before you graduated. Oh. So that's from. Am I right? You are correct. Let's go. Wow, Here look at go. you thinking it through, man. That, wow. That was the only thing that made sense to me, honestly. So. The Einstein of your generation there as we well. Go. <laughs> According to your Wikipedia page, you have a penchant for what famous musician? Chad Kroger of Nickelback. <laughs> Great Jason guy. Mraz of Jason, Jason Mraz, Mraz. Yeah, uh -huh. or James Taylor. Also about the car ride karaoke, this would be me and you. Yeah, man. Fire and Rain would be C, James Taylor. Just yesterday morning, they let me know you were gone. Oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> and you are obviously correct. Your first regular season reception in the NFL came against which team? Oh, yeah. 
Cleveland, Chicago, Green Bay. This would be C, Green Bay, at Green Bay, Christmas Eve. That's incorrect. Apparently it was Chicago. Nope. Judges? 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 What, was it Green Bay? It was Green Bay. It was two years ago, I had one catch. My phone's ringing, hold on one second. Hold on. Mr. Wolf. Oh, that, he's right. Great, thank you for watching. Yeah, Ziggy. Uh, you're right. It absolutely was Let's Green go. Bay. Congratulations. Here we go. You get two points for the mistake on our part. Come on. Green yeah. Bay it was. Fantastic. And thank you for watching, Mr. Wolf. Whew, now the pressure's on. Which Tom Hanks movie won the Academy Award for Best Picture in 1994? 94. Ooh. In my opinion, each of these could have won. Right, yeah, the best no doubt. That year. Apollo 19, Saving Private Ryan, for Forrest Gump. 1994. I know. I was, how old was I in 94, you think? Uh, I'm going to guess so you're a little bit older than my son, so I'm going to guess you were two. I was one. One. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Maybe I, mean, I could have been zero. I you could have been zero. My birthday was yeah, right. in May 19th of 93, so I wow. could have not even been a year old. Wow. Oh, man. Yeah. Apollo Forrest Ryan, Gump, Private incredible Ryan. movie. Incredible. Saving Private Ryan, seen it not near as many times as Forrest Gump. Right. Apollo 19, not even sure if I've ever seen it. Oh, oh fantastic. Right. It's obviously Tom Hanks. So, Forrest Gump, I feel like, I'm not sure what year that was made. I'm honestly not sure about any of these. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm just going to go... I'm gonna go with the outlier of Apollo 19 because I haven't seen it mm. and maybe I was too young to see it. You should see it. It's good. It was Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. 1994. And my favorite one of it's all of them. Great movie. I thought that was definitely a little older than that because that's one that I could relate to a lot. Yeah, yeah, right. Tell me Gen one a. scene. Yeah, okay, I that was it, right? Gen A, you yeah. died on a Tuesday. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, my phone's ringing all the time. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, Mr. Spielman. Ah, yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, you're still here. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay, thank you, yeah. Apparently there's no Apollo 19, it's actually Apollo 13. 13. That's what I, Trick question. I thought that was another mistake on y'all's part, like the Green Bay one Absolutely was. Absolutely right, so I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna put this one on y'all. Yeah, I, you know what, I couldn't agree more. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Spielman, for watching as well. I had no idea so many people watched this show. So there you go, another two points for you right there. All right, listen, we come to this. You've done fantastic. I don't know how you feel you've done, but I feel you've done great. We have the last question here as a tiebreaker, oh, in case you and somebody else get the exact same right. score. So we're gonna treat this as if it's the gumball, or the, the jar with the gumballs yeah. in it. You gotta say how, exactly how many mm -hmm. gumballs you think are in there, because they call it the land of 10,000 lakes. It's not I exactly. Know. That was what I was gonna say. I was like, it's not 10,000 lakes. It's not exactly And I 10, heard 000. it's less than that, so. Did you? That's what I heard. I need an exact number from you. We're gonna write it down. We're gonna let everybody know how close you got and who got the closest. So I need an exact number of lakes. You know what I heard is good for things like this with the jump ball thing? Okay. Is you take everyone's answer that it has ever been written down. Right. Take the average of it. Okay. And you would probably be the closest out of everybody. Gotcha. So I don't know the average. <laughs> <laughs> that is useless information right now. That's okay. I but I'm like gonna go. I don't even know. I mean, land of 10,000 lakes, it can't be like 2,000 because that would be a, a severe over-exaggeration. Mm -hmm. 2,000 but it can't be like 20,000. I'm gonna go with 8,723. 8, Final answer? Final answer. There he is, the great David Morgan on the ViQ test. You did fantastic. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Except for the Apollo 19. That, that, was, that was not your fault, man. It was, a, it was a shot in the dark, man. I was, you know. Yeah, Apollo 19 has yet to be made. Writing a, writing a book, directing a movie. We got it all done. You're the director of your, the Scorsese <laughs> of your generation as well. Have Love a great it. season, buddy. Thank Appreciate you, man. Thanks, Good sir. to see you as yes, always. Sir. I seen fire and I seen rain. Seen sunny days that I thought would never end. Uh, the song, there we go. Generation. It's not even close. Love it.